During the filming of this video, we unexpectedly crafted an ending that can only be described as legendary. An ending that surpasses anything seen before in human history, transcending time, space and will surely leave YouTube a changed and better place. However, I don't wish to overstate how good it is. Today we're at the beach. But what Mike doesn't know is today we're walking 25 kilometers along this beach. What? My job is to get Mike to the end of this beach and you guys to the end of this video because your attention spans are quite short, aren't they? You're bored now, aren't you? So I'm gonna have to entertain the absolute heck out of you. Join me today for the most boring beach video ever. Come on, Mike, let's go! Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the fastest growing YouTube channel in my bedroom. We find ourselves at the beach today, a beach with both sand and sea, so super unique, and I guess the route is, um, well, that way. This was an absolutely massive Airbnb and for reference was $30 a night. I asked Mike to make sure to remember where we parked. It was his easiest task I'd ever set him. We didn't see anyone staying in this place for three days that we were here. So it was great to get a coffee and with no one else around, I could pretend that I had an entire camera crew with me so I could take some amazing shots for National Geographic. Who the hell is Phil? This mad lad was flying a kite, but I still think he's cool because he was literally flying. And with the usual, wow, we're on a beach, let's take 500 photos before enjoying it ourselves, we headed to one of the, what I believe, nine pools that we counted, all empty, for some panning shots, some little planet, and then a little prayer that my camera was indeed waterproof. It was getting late, so we grabbed some healthy drinks, and just before resting up for the crazy adventure in the morning, we took some final night photos. That's the same joke as before, mind, I just didn't want anyone to miss it. Up with the sun for the seventh time on this channel. Pre-coffee thinking is not my best life skill, thus deciding to remove and hide my flip-flops at the start of the walk would soon cause me all sorts of problems. We set off to walk 25 kilometers down this beach, Mike wearing a smart long sleeve t-shirt and me, a trendy hat and awesome key ringed bag. Now I hear boobs mean views on YouTube, but I may have misheard that. However, this German guy, along with his lovely wife, were walking down this beach picking up trash. His words were, if every person could pick up three pieces of trash, the beach would be left in a better state. So ever wanting to outdo everyone else, both me and Mike took five big handfuls of trash to the beach bins, so we hope we did our German friend proud. After a quick shadow break, we pushed another 1.5 kilometers under our elasticated belts, but the sun was really starting to heat up the sand. Oh, uh. Ow. We've already been walking for one and a half hours and oh my god, it's just us versus the sun. It's, there is zero shadow. Just see if we can find your coffee. No sunstroke and we'll limit the beers for today. For this channel, I've walked over 300 kilometers now, so the chance to cool down my black battered and blistered toes was lovely before heading straight back onto more burning concrete. We're walking down this street and like six different people have asked to give me a foot massage, but given the absolute state of my feet, I think they would get PTSD, so uh, I can't put that on them. We didn't find a coffee shop, so we went back to the shoreline to cool our feet down. Still without any water, and more importantly, any sort of caramel infused coffee, and with the sun heating up not just us, but the path too, I didn't think things could get much worse. Until of course, we met some rocks. Apparently rocks and burning bare feet are no mix. I actually sped this up 400% and it still looks pretty slow, but I was super impressed that Mike hadn't moaned once about lack of water, and yet using his appropriate footwear made this look pretty easy. Okay, we've been walking for three hours. I am super hot. I am so thirsty. I feel a bit sick. Mike, what are you doing? You've had water the whole time. I'm dying here and you're cleaning your feet with a bottle of water. What an absolute... No time and no energy to fight to the death here. The nuclear hot concrete meant I could only stand in the shadows again and again. And once again, when I thought things couldn't get any worse, you can see on my toe here, Bloody fire ants started to attack me, leaving my feet burning both underneath and now on top, so at least it was even. But finally something nice happened and a chance to enjoy some delightful Asian food. Even though there were some questionable flags above us, the owners were brilliant. 
Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the family restaurant. Are you yeah, in Chatham? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chris. Chris. Chris yeah. Oh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Rene. My brother Rodel. Rodel. Yeah. I thought you were brothers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Chris. Stop by to the family restaurant. We have very good uh, Thai food or European food. And I can contest to that. We've just tried a nice, uh, a nice traditional Filipino uh, cheese and ham sandwich. Speaking of tradition, next door is the opportunity to purchase all sorts of travel gifts to bring back to your loved ones and really rub in just how great your holiday was. Mike wouldn't let me get any of these elephant pants, quoting the reason it's sad, I agree. And then I proceeded to try on some epic shirts before settling on a t-shirt that no other person has ever purchased. Don't question it. The owner was kind enough to let me sit by her fan and allowed me to have these flip-flops completely for free, providing I paid for them. You can grab Wow, oh, that's neat. She is awesome. And now I am awesome. And as I can't be bothered to find another adjective, another awesome site was just around the corner. 7-Eleven Coffee. Now, some of you have complained that I don't know very many English language words, but who cares if I don't know what Armageddon means? It's not the end of the world. Hashtag Oxford Dictionary. A big thanks to Wonder. It was their comment that I used. If you want your name up in lights with me, feel free to leave your favorite dad jokes down below. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Have you eaten too much over the holidays? Feel stuffed, slow, or bloated? Then fix all your issues with a big sheet. Just one big sheet in the morning and potentially a big sheet at night will get you feeling like a million bucks again. This product comes in handy, easy to carry sizes, so you can even have a big sheet at work if you need to. And now introducing our brand new flavor for fans of hot chicken wings, Spicy Sheet. Big Sheet, the second best named product in Thailand. With health and safety so important on this channel, I bought this flag earlier, hoping that a super thin, basically see-through piece of material would protect me from the sun. It didn't. However, I did find some SPF mayonnaise and this delicious electrolyte drink called Poker Sweat. A quick check on the ant bites, I took an ice cream before being super surprised to see the thumbnail for this very video on that billboard ahead. I really post too much in a community tab, don't I? But speaking of community, it was time for the fan favorite part of the video. A wise man once said, a ginger only has so many visits to a beach. So I wanted to make this montage something special, so after listening to all seven seconds of Justin Bieber's greatest hits, I decided to pick a brand new song from someone else. Oh, the montages have black bars in them now. How cinematic. We return to our walking heroes playing with a cute cat in an area filled with colorful fishing boats. Give me the chance to take some really cool footage, and even with super low energy, I pushed on, risking everything, but still could find the time to make some quirky one-liners. Hey Mike, don't you hate when people answer their own questions? I do. Disaster struck for maybe the third time on that day when another thorn pierced my foot, but don't feel too bad for anyone with yellow nails, it's just a phase I'll grow out of it. There's no time to dwell, with the burning heat above us, only one coffee inside us, the race was on to find another one before we had to turn back to our hotel. Using our last caffeine energy supplies, we climbed these jagged rocks to find the coffee shop promised to us by Google Maps was in fact an empty, trash-filled dead end. The evil combination of fire ants, sharp rocks, burning sand, the sticks I had in my foot, paired with the lack of coffee, and now the lack of time. The day had beaten us, and this was now purely about survival. 
As we made the turn back to our hotel, we couldn't help but ask ourselves why we had ignored all of those bushcraft survival guides that stressed the importance of taking coffee beans with you on any potentially life-threatening walks. And as we crawled back along the beach, the deadly effects started to show. There is no shade. I've only had one coffee today. I'm feeling very, de I'm feeling very decaffeinated. I don't know if I can go on. I'm feeling so. I'm feeling. caramel latte waiting for me back at the hotel, I gathered my remaining strength, dug out my Insta360 selfie stick and roared. Maybe With a fantastic day of walking behind us, we had conquered and achieved practically nothing other than feeding a cat and finding Mike a classic 2018 to 2019 Metallica tour shirt for less than five quid. We had reached our hotel and a vending machine filled with low-priced caffeinated treats that would later electrocute me as I reached in to get a can. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the world's most boring 